guys, Jurassic Gamer here, and we are back on what seems like a foreign planet, really. Welcome back to the world of Jurassic Park Builder. I'm excited to be playing this, although I've had some sort of weird experiences. Hang on, what's my options? Oh, I think it does work, sorry. So anyway, that's probably one of the things that I was about to talk to you about. So I logged back on, and the server crashed. And I lost, not a guarantee, not all of what I had, but most of it. So I re reworked my way back up to um, what we had last time, and simply the park's very different. But still, shouldn't make much difference. Everything's all over the place, but still, shouldn't make very much difference at all. So I look forward to me back on this game. And also, we've got a new surprise for you. Look in the market. That's right. The Indominus Rex. And I thought when I got rid of Jurassic World, that was the end of the hybrids. Turns out I was wrong. The Indominus has been put into the Jurassic Park Builder. And I managed to pull together my money to buy money. So I could buy this. And I have to say, I am very, very happy I got this. As you can see, free... I've already bought it, so that means it was free to place, so let's, hang on, is this T-Rex size? Um, no, it's just a little bit bigger than the T-Rex, about a giga, giga size, something like that. Mind you, the giga's modelled after the T-Rex, but who cares really, I just shove it in the corner. I'll tell you what we should do, we should have like our own forested spot for the Indominus. Like, to make it look like the in-gen way of doing things, that'd be cool. If only there was a mod that could allow you to, like, remove, like, middle parts, and you don't have to move things in front of it first. Pretty cool. But, never mind. I will, I'll build a forested bit for the Indominus. But anyway, let's get right into it. So, let's see how long it would take. It would take two hours, only two bucks. Not too bad. I can spend that. Are you ready? And I thought the T-Rex was very special. Well, it was, but anyway... This thing spent my money. Let's hope it's worth it. Welcome to the park, Indominus. Did you know the name Indominus Rex means fierce or untamable king? A... Whoa! -ho -ho! Look at him! One noise to make when he's baby. Ooh, that's a bit weird. See what I mean? You, you can't sell it for anything, right? Let's feed it to an adult. Jesus, it's using up all my food already. Now see what noise it makes now. Not the sort of maze noise I would expect it to make after the film, but still, I love the model of this thing. I'm not even joking. I just want to... <gasps> it camouflages! It can camouflage! <laughs> Oh my god, that is so cool. No, I just want to sit here and watch this for ages, but obviously I can't because it'll be too boring for you guys. The Indominus Rex. I kind of want to go to Ballerina, means I'd have to download them. Tell you what, we'll do a code red. I haven't done these in ages, so it's gonna be, we're going to be in for a shock. Put the Indominus in the corner. Um, let's put this in the corner as well. Get the raptors. There's a little trick here, guys. If you want to do code red, you have to run around your park clicking everything. I suggest you move all your carnivores down the center. And I want you to name everything that hasn't already been named. I can tell you what has been named. Um, so we have got Mark and someone else for the raptors. Was suggested by the Gaming Madness a while ago, so... Yep, so, so those names are taken, just so I thought I could remind you guys. Um, and the other one, named by Over the Top Gaming, Bobby, for this guy down here. Wait, wake up. Let's feed him to level 6, might as well. There you go. Bad, anyway. Two for Aussie. I'm surprised I managed to let that be an actual thing in the game. I thought Triceratops would be better than that. I thought about like the tiny Gallimimus would be weak. 
Triceratops would be better. But anyways, let's stop arguing about that. Um, so yeah, let's just put that over there. Move our Baryonyx. Uh, remember to put, right, all these guys I would like a name for. I know one of them, if you do, um, you do, you will can't be bothered to name these guys. It would be really cool if it could. I hope you could suggest names. Because I've been asking a few times and not many people have done it. So I hope some new people out there, oh, that, I can't get over that. But anyway, that, I hope so you guys can name stuff. I know if you will can be bothered to name, you will name the Indominus. And... It'd be good if you could name the Indominus Rex, because it's new to Jurassic Park Builder, and I just like it in general. Just look at it. Um, also name the T-Rex, that's open for suggestions as well. The Baryonyx can have name suggestions, and the Sarau can have name suggestions. The Raptors are taken, just so I thought I could say. Okay, but uh, you could also name the Stego. You can name the Pachycephalos. So a few dirty minded people out there. You can name our Bronto. I don't know why that's in the game, but our very noisy Dilo. Uh obviously not him. And you can name the two Tyrannodons. That'd be cool if you could do that as well. So let's without further ado, let's get into this code red. Are right, we ready? Let's go. Start. No, I'm sorry if I don't talk a lot, but let's have a go. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, I forgot to move the dialo. I forgot to move the dialo. Can I do it without moving the dialo? I do not think I'll be able to. I, come on, come on, let's do this, guys. We can do it. I should really probably shouldn't be speaking to you guys over this. To sort of focus on making sure my brand new Indominus doesn't waste any of my money getting it back into its pen. That'd be a disaster. It could eat more fat guys and more deers hanging from ropes. It could chase Owen Grady again. We should not have that in our park. I would laugh if they did have an Owen in this park. Instead of an Allen or something, because the Indominus has been added. Oh my god, I'm, I'm we did it! I managed, I managed to do that without losing the Dilo. That was a stupid mistake. I so much apologise. Um, that was a stupid mistake. But we, nevertheless, we did it. And our Dilo is still in there. But anyways, guys, we have some new areas, I'm told. I'm really well testing Dominus out in battle. I'll tell you what, we should do that in tournament. I'll tell you what I'll do, guys. I'm, I'll cut the video here, just quick. And I will install the new areas. And I will be right bees. Alright, so we're back. And I've downloaded the battle area. So... Let's just get into this. Um, so, what you're going to, what you're about to see is top secret. When some of the free roaming dinosaurs from Ingen Site B, so they've linked the films into it, began acting wild, we had no choice but to bring them here. Mm. We think these feral dinosaurs are acting upon their instinct for survival. In response, a program was built to study the dinosaurs as they engage in combat. Okay then. So what we're going to do. I know tournament mode can be unlocked at, say, stage 7. So what we're going to do is we are going to play to stage 7, and that will be the end of the video, guys. Alright, what do we have to come? Here, you can manage your dinosaurs. Each one you raise to level 5 is available, and you can create teams of up to 3 dinosaurs. Choose the dinosaur you wish to add by clicking on its image. Remember that they will have to reset after each battle. Oh, I'm surprised. So the Indominus is not the best. Hmm. But we, we, we weren't going to use that straight away. So somehow, oh yeah, our Dilo hasn't been fully fed, has it? And what we're going to do is we're going to go and combat Triceratops with a Triceratops. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. This is it doesn't really matter. Little two megabytes download for every eat. Ugh. Yeah. I know guys, when I had to reset the park, it meant I had to reset the things. It didn't mean I lost everything, but it mean I had to reset most areas, that's why. Pretty odd I know. Anyway, let's just go for a special and get it done with. Look at my trike. That had uh, absolutely no health. Blimey, that was quick. So we got one buck out of that. Um, I didn't see that. I'll squeeze till it goes to the actual ten claws. Not too bad. Yeah, one buck, 1,500 and 300. Decent. Yeah, not too bad. Actually, I might stop now because it, that's just an introduction of what to come, guys. Although you've seen it before in many different videos. But, alright guys, this has been Jurassic Gamer. With a long-awaited Jurassic Park Pilder video finally out there on YouTube. And I shall be seeing you later, guys, when I next play.